Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm just now opening the vlog because it's been a busy morning. But we have Kayla and baby Aspen in the house. <laughs> Look at Aspen, she looked over here. Okay, so went to the doctor this morning with her. And what did they tell you? That you're crazy and yeah. she's totally fine and they that nothing's that wrong with her? Looked perfect, sounds perfect, and she has another tooth that's popping through. Mm -hmm. So they said that the 101 fever probably was a little virus. So they did say she probably had a virus. When was that fever? Like when it first started? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. I just been on the week. And they said that that probably was that. And then also, my thermometer has been reading so weird. Like, I would take her temperature one minute and be 101. Then I would take it again and it's 100.5. Like, literally within like two minutes. Like, I would just sit there mm. and take the temperature with like two of them. Mm -hmm. And like, the same thermometer would be like 101. Then, like, five minutes later, it would read 98. Then, five minutes later, it would read 99.8. Like, it just made no sense. So. I don't know, I'm gonna go home and do the water method on the thermometers and see. What's it's that? It's like take a cup of ice water and you dip it in there. Mm -hmm. And if it reads like 32 degrees or less, it's working. Okay. And if it doesn't read 32 and it reads higher, then you know your thermometer is off. off. Okay. So, I'm gonna do that because I've tried two different thermometers. Every time we take it to the doctor, her temperature is no. She bites you? In so, teeth, I know. Look at her looking at you. <laughs> they also said the outline of her top teeth are very visible, so those could be starting to pop through too soon. Hey, baby girl. So, Did you bite Aunt Briley? She looks healthy, looks perfect. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I mean, nothing else to really report. <laughs> she is a happy baby. And a stinky butt. I am. Yeah, I, I just use the, I don't use the water method, I use the lip method. And if I feel the baby with my lips on their forehead and they feel warm, then I'm like, oh, okay, you run a little fever. I've always done that, and you know you do that too. I do, but then like she was fussy this week, mm -hmm. and it could have been her teeth are causing her issues. <laughs> she stared at you. <laughs> Is that right? Are your teeth causing you issues? Say yes, mama. Mama, mama. Say, mama, could you imagine those teeth popping through? You know that can't feel good. No, I just stress and I think the worst and you sure do baby you gotta breathe you got two more coming I'm baby gonna, like, stress. no you're gonna learn to just take a chill pill and go with it okay. unless she like my biggest thing is unless the fever is extremely high difficulty breathing congestion That's what they said. like they said I was, I wouldn't be too stressed love you sweet girl that's her favorite noise you guys it'll make her smile every time well i think she looks great i thought she looked good yesterday but it's only at night and they say it's probably because she gets choked up on her saliva yes and then the runny stool like the runny well, you know she's always had food they said that that's probably from the excess saliva because that probably that. and also she's eating food now that's she's trying new stuff oh yeah say, so it's normal it's not like it's not like it sounds like water Guess what food she does not like? What food she not like? Carrots. carrots. And that was your favorite, Briley. You were orange because you ate so many carrots. She'll eat it. Now, is this the ones you make? No. Out of the jar? Yeah. She does not like them? What? She loved green beans. That is weird. And, but I tried them. They taste just like regular green beans. Well, that's because you made them. Yeah, Have you tried the jar ones? No. Ugh, they're horrible. I tried them. Yeah, she didn't like but, them. But like, I heated them up a little this time, and mm -hmm. she ate them a little better, but not that great. Well. It takes her a little bit to get used to them. So, I don't think carrots are her favorite. And you never know. She might come back around and really like them. She'll probably like sweet potatoes. And who knows? Maybe she's not a sweet person. Like, she doesn't she care for that. She loves bananas. Oh, well, then, yeah. Okay. I think it's just... Carrot. I don't know, but she loved green beans. Like she was eating those green beans up, and then the carrot, she's just like, yeah, just spit them out. If it hurts, why are you still letting her chew on your finger? He said, "Give me your finger." <gasps> you are so pretty, sweet baby. As soon as you got here, Briley hogs her, and I'm like, okay, now my turn, my turn. Before Kayla has to take off and leave, because that's how it always goes. 
Yes, I will. I'm not a baby hog. I'm to have two more. No one would have to fight over holding a baby because there'd be three. Well, I'll get one. Could you we'll imagine? Yeah, we'll just rotate the baby. <laughs> Could you imagine? We were just talking about that. Like, I was looking at my back seat and I'm like, I think I can fit three car seats down there. Because, because Aslan's car seat has a base. Uh -huh. And it has a little more room on each side. I'd go and get her that convertible though. Well, so it's no, slim. I'm saying for two babies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. in the middle. Yeah, for like sure. Slim car seat. You I can do it. I think it will fit. Because once she's locked in, I don't have to worry about this. And I'll just have to, Katie or someone will just have to turn around the front seat and buckle her in. Or lean over. Well, here's the thing. She's going to be backwards until she's over a year. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, <clears throat> put one baby in on one side, put her in on this side, lean over, do her, and then put in the other baby. Yes. It'll be a lot. It'll be a lot, but she could totally do it. I would say, though. I'm not going to be going anywhere by myself because I cannot find a three stroller. They've got to make one. The only one they make is where you can add a little scooter board, but she's only going to be a year. She's mm -hmm. not going to know that concept. To hold on to it. Yeah, or sit on it. I'd be scared she'd fall off and roll under and I step on it. You know what you invest in? Ah. I'll say get you a wagon and like lay the babies down and then put her in there. Right I don't in know. In the beginning, <clears throat> they do make a bassinet part for the top and they both can lay in the bassinet up top. True. Together. Mm -hmm. And then Aspen in the I wouldn't waste too much money on that because you're not going to be going anywhere anytime soon right yeah. away because with three I babies. I need a double stroller. Absolutely. But then I want to you could always strap one on and then have a double. I could always just strap that one on mm -hmm. and then have a double. It's probably what I would. Because can't she be in a sling in a year? Yeah. Like a. The one to the side on your hip. Or something. Yeah. yeah. You could do the one of those backpack ones too. Lord Jesus. I know. Imagine people are going to look at me like. Why Girl. Are you like that? <laughs> But I definitely want a double stroller, and I want the one that converts, that has like the seats, and it converts all the way from newborn to baby. Yeah. Because it has the different inserts you have. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to get like her uh, umbrella stroller. Yeah. Because she won't, she'll be sitting in there. She'll have convertible car seat at that point. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because like all the babies her age and even younger are already in convertible car seats. People yeah. I was going to say, it, she's too heavy for that. She's getting way too I heavy. Doctor, I just took her out. For that car seat. Yeah, no, she's too fat for that. I would say you just need to focus on a stroller I'm and a convertible car seat, I think the end of this month. Whoa, baby. Yeah. I'll get like my paycheck or whatever. I know the Diano brand to me when I was looking, because I had a car. I had a Camry, you remember? Was it the Camry I was doing it with or yeah. some one of my cars? And it was the slimmest I could find. I even like went online, looked at all the dimensions of every convertible well, car I seat. I measure one to make sure it will fit in that middle. Because yes. Even though she can go inside right now, but when those two bases are in, I don't want to get a new car. I really don't want to get a new you car. You won't right have to. I know. I think you can make it work. But I want to wait on getting a new car because my thing is, is come next year, I'm planning to stay at home. Mm -hmm. And Caleb's going to be taking over all the bills. And I don't want to put even more money on his plate. Riley's got to go get a job. You better get on the YouTube train, girl. You better start posting like you're supposed to. Because my thing is, is like... I just think me trying to work, have three kids at home, and do school next year is going to be way too much. I'm going to end up losing it. You're going to lose your brain. So I was brain. like, You're right. I'm going to cut out something. And Caleb has agreed that we can make it work for one year for me to stay at home. And yeah. And if we continue to make it work, I'll just stay out longer. Don't tell Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch this video because he will watch. <laughs> hey, Caleb. But, um, so. Look at her smiling. Yeah, but there's your there's your update on life with Kayla. Yeah, we're trying to figure it all out day by day. I'm still planning. I'm thinking about Aspen's first birthday when we're doing that. Cause you got two babies coming that month. Or well, yeah, they both, yes, they will be here. January though, like the end of January. What if the babies come in January? I know, it's like you just don't It's know. just a gamble. So, we will have her a party some way or another. We have to have it in the hospital. No, she will have a real first birthday. I'm just joking. I know, but like. Look, worst case, you wait until you get home and then have one. Oh, and let me, I'm, I'm gonna like, my goal is to rent a space. She's gonna have a big first birthday. But, if I'm on bed rest, I will rent a wheelchair and you best believe I will be there. I will, I'll push you. I will wheel my tail around. And enjoy that first She's birthday. gonna have that first yeah, birthday. <laughs> if you're on bed rest, yeah. It's okay, we got you. We got you. So we will make it work. She's gonna have that first birthday, and Mama is gonna be there. He's probably getting that sugar. He's probably getting that sugar. Huh? 
She getting that sugar. I sweet mama. <laughs> she just rolled over and I completely missed it. Yeah. Riley, move your hand over her like head and you see if she'll roll back. Stinky. Her roll back. Her rolls back the other way. It's just. Uh, or do you want to lay her back on her back? Lay her back on her back and see if she'll roll again. Roll her back over. There. She did it though, trying to get that car seat. Bring the car seat a little closer. Riley, do like this, like that, and get her to try to touch that. You watch, she won't do it. I know she won't because we're filming. That's how it always goes. That was the first time I've actually seen her go all the way over. I like, know. Like, without us, like, having to finish pushing her. She did so good. Okay, slide a little bit, Kayla, slide a little bit. So she, yeah. Oh, put it back up there, Riley. Yeah, see if you can get her attention. Get it. Roll over. Roll over. Get it. Ah, she we're not going to do it. it. She did. We just missed it. I'll see if I can catch her again next time. Maybe she'll do it. Oops, it Look, hurt. you want to taste the bottle? Look, get the bottle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here, here. You want the bottle? Here. Come get it. I don't want to get it. I know, she almost did it. She acts like she can't do it. I know, but she can. She just did. Here we go, here we go, maybe. Or just like Girl, I almost thought you were going to do it. Okay, we'll come back. All right, guys, we have left the house. Kayla left with Aspen, and she went home to grab Caleb, and they're going out to eat dinner. And what's funny is I told her what I wanted. I'm like, you know what I want? I really want some hibachi tonight. That's what I'm really feeling. And she goes, oh, you said that. Now I want it. So I think they're going to the same restaurant. But here's the thing. I think we're going to sit at a booth so we don't have to, like, do the grill thing because the grill experience takes so long. Normally, if you sit at a booth, you, you sit down really quick because nobody's waiting for that normally. And they bring your food out really fast. And it's just as good, in my opinion. It's just as good. Um, and it's just quicker. But I think they want to do the grill. So we may be at the same restaurant, but we may not be eating together. I don't know. We're going to talk and make that decision. But um, you don't want the grill? You'd rather sit at the booth? Yeah. i kind of rather sit at the booth, too. Yeah, because it normally... You'd rather sit at the booth too? Okay. Normally the food just comes out way quicker. No, it, it's really and quick. And they take your order way quicker. And the but just as good. Yeah, it is just yeah, as good. Is, you know? Insane. Yeah, it is. Like it takes, it takes, see this one I don't like. It takes quicker to order than if you go to the bar, I mean the um grill. grill. It takes longer to order and they're having to prepare all the food and put it on a plate just to come back out and cook it. I know. So I'd rather just sit. It's good on the grill, and I ain't gonna lie, it is a little better on the grill. Yeah. Food wise, but it's just as good, in my opinion. Especially if you got all your sauces and stuff going on. Oh, yeah. Riley, what would you rather do, the grill or a booth? I could do either. You don't care? I don't care. All right, so we're gonna make a decision, but we're gonna go eat some yummy food, and traffic is mad crazy right now. was really good and it was like fantastic I had some leftovers I gave them to Kayla and then she actually had a ton of leftovers herself but we came home and now we're in my car oh that looks scary it's because my screen we came home and we are actually leaving again once again because somebody's getting in the car because they want something we'll let her tell you would you like to tell the vlog what is it you want a drink from Sonic yeah, and also, she's not the only one, so because now everybody in the house has asked for one. Oh, really? Everybody. Yes, and okay. that just lovely. Lovely. So now we're going to go buy some drinks um, and then head back to the house, and that's it. Yep. That's it. 
and we might watch Love Island because we've not finished it yet. And I actually saw a spoiler on um, Instagram really upset me because I did not want to know who went home and I already figured it out. I'm like, so I've been trying to like stay off of Instagram as much as I can as far as scrolling because I'm so stressed out. I'm going to see what happens. And I think tomorrow I'm going to clean this van inside and out. I think if the weather's good, it rained today, so I couldn't do it today. So we'll see if the weather's good. I think I'm going to do that. But for now, we're going to head off to Sonic. All right, guys, the car's beeping because people are pulling in. We just got our drinks and they're pretty decent. It's good. Um, hers did not even look right, but she says right. It is right. I also got Aiden and Barry a drink. Now we're heading home. And we almost had a wreck. Oh my gosh, idiot drivers, I swear. It was not my fault. No, I, we were sitting here and all of a sudden mom goes, oh my gosh, that car's passing in a no pa or with a car coming. And I was like, huh? There's and a the next heel. thing I know, there's yeah. a freaking car passing and there's literally a car. No like, passing right zone. There. And they were down the hill. I saw them coming because they dimmed their lights. The car behind me obviously did because they were flying up on me. They just go around me like on a hill so they can't see the car coming. And... They like just go to pass and as soon as they get beside of me, there comes the truck head on. He's blinking lights, blowing the horn. The car jumps back over. It was just a moment, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It was kind of scary at the moment because he, if he didn't turn the wheel when he did, he'd hit him. Yeah. 100%. It was bad. He was close to hit him anyway because no, the car coming at him wasn't stopping either. Yeah, he really was. It was crazy. Scary. But anyway, we made it here. Now we got to make it home in one piece. Let's do it.